Hey everybody, Angie Woods, Dog Psychology 101. Today we are working with Flash, the cute, adorable little pit bull guy, but he has one big problem. Well, maybe two big problems. He's been afraid of men, which is why he came to see me. But then our immersion clients this weekend were here at the park and he was chasing cars going down the street. I wasn't involved in that early in the morning and uh, it was reported back to me. So we came today to work on it and we want to share this info with you. So hang tight. Let's take a peek how we deal with it. So chasing cars, chasing wheels, anything super high energy like this, there's two main factors that you're going to really have to take into account. Number one, your intensity has to be right. You can't try to interrupt your dog's behavior or feelings with a very low level um, interruption. It's gonna to have to be higher level. And number two, your timing. The more you let adrenaline rise, the harder it is to get back down and deal with. So be their friend. Catch it as soon as they think about it and appro apply the appropriate amount of pressure on your leash. You're just letting them know that the feeling that should be coming from you is not frustration or anger. Dogs are just doing what dogs do. You have to say calm and, cable, calm and stable so they follow you and you can't get upset. And so, but your timing must be right on as soon as they notice the vehicle because your whole point is ignore the vehicle. I wouldn't mind a gentle look, but this hard look is called fixation. And that is the problem. Fixation is hunting and we don't want them hunting wheels. It's deadly. So what we want to do first before we go practice in the traffic or near the traffic is we're going to go get him tired. We're going to take a little walk down the nature trail, let him spend some calories, get his brain tired and get his body tired, and then we're going to come back up in town and do the hard work. be harder for him to pass cars facing them than it is for them to come from behind us, at least initially. Okay, so now we're going to turn around. Now that we have gone away from the cars, now we're going to go toward the cars. So, you see, he's hesitating. He wants to stop and look at them. We may repeat the process. Pressure on the leash. Relax when he does. Super important. This leash may look a little bit tight to you guys, but it's not. I'm extremely close to him, but it is not tight. I'm so close because I can get to him in a nanosecond. And timing right now is everything. Calm feeds calm. He reads what I'm feeling. We know this about dogs. We don't apply it though. You have to stay balanced. So timing is everything here. So as we have been working with Flash on the cars, as you guys can see, like I can stop him from chasing the cars while I have him on a leash, but what would he do if he were off the leash and still had free choice? So this is one of the rare times that I would use a remote collar or an electric collar. Now, let's understand that I'm never about hurting the dog, but there's a few things in life that I have found that you are not going to override that behavior with anything else. And for me, this is life-saving. If he chases cars and bites tires, that is gonna kill him. So this is one of the times where I use it. And then I also use one of my Liberty lines so that I can also not be right on him and let him make a choice. Because I want him to associate uh, wheels of cars and chasing cars as negative, flatly negative. It's going to kill him. We wouldn't let our children run out into the street. We stop them. Bam, bam, bam. I would be, yes. Okay, okay so like two seconds sooner. And thank God they've got a human brain, so they learn eventually not to perform those kind of behaviors. Dogs are not like that. It's heavy prey drive, it's very high energy, very intense, and the only thing that's gonna override that is the remote collar. 
a treat's not going to do it. I firmly believe this, that I'm going to stand by my statement. This is one of the very few times that we're going to use an e-collar. So let's watch how it works. Yeah. <laughs> I have the enthusiasm for both of us. You did it, Flash. That's right. No death by car. <laughs>